students, this video will show you how to turn in assignments, how to add a private comment, how to resubmit your work, and how to check your grades on Google Classroom. Before we begin, let's review some vocabulary. Click. When I say to click, I mean to touch with your finger on your phone. Submit. To submit is to turn in your work to your teacher. Attachment. Attachment is the actual work you are turning in to your teacher. When you turn in your work, you are adding an attachment and submitting it. Now let's learn how to turn in an assignment. So the first thing you will do is click on the assignment. Go to your classroom, click the classwork tab, find the assignment you would like to submit, and click on it. So you should be on the assignment page, like here. Once you clicked on the assignment, click on your work, your work at the bottom of the page. When you click on your work, it should look like this. Here is where you will add an attachment, add an attachment. So click add attachment and then you will see this screen or a screen similar to this one with many options. Google Classrooms is great because you have many options. You can choose how you want to do and turn in your assignment. Let's talk about the options we have. The first option is the drive. So Google Drive is a storage place where you can save files online and you can look at them anywhere from any smartphone or computer. If you already saved your homework to Google Drive, you can upload it by clicking this option. So you will use Drive if you made a Google document or Google PowerPoint slide or anything such as this in the past and you want to upload it and submit it as your homework. Link. A link is an address you can click on to take you to a specific website. So for example, www.youtube.com is a link that you can click on and you will go to YouTube. So another example, this is a link that you can click on to take you to my favorite Sofana song. File. File is our next option. This can be any document from your computer, a PowerPoint, a Word document, whatever you already have saved on your computer, you can upload it here. Pick photo. So this option allows you to choose a picture from your phone to submit. It will take you to all the pictures you have in your phone and you can pick one to submit for your homework. Use camera. Here is where you can use the camera on your phone to take a picture to submit. It may look different on your phone, but it is still the same options. So here I have another way you may see, drive, camera, upload photo, link, create, create new, but this is all the same options. And even if it looks slightly different on your phone, you can still read the options and pick the one that you would like to use. New docs. So this is how you create a new Google document and do your homework on this document. You type your answers here. 
It's an easy way to write your answer without having to use paper. So if you would like to type your answer, choose New Docs and type your answer on a new Google document. New Slides. Another similar option, you can use this option to create a new Google slideshow. Very similar to PowerPoint, but you can use this option to create a new Google slideshow. New Sheets and New PDF. Use these to create a new Google Excel sheet. So this can be like a chart or graph and new PDF to upload a new or create a new PDF document. Once you have added your attachment, click turn in. Click turn in. So you will click turn in. As you can see here, I did a new Google document and that is right there. You can see it. And then I click turn in. Once I click turn in, they will ask turn in your work to double check and make sure. So click turn in again. So again, once you have added your attachment, click turn in and then click turn in again. Be sure to notice and make sure you have added the correct document or photo or whatever you choose. Another important thing to note, if you finish a Google survey, so if your teacher has given you a Google survey to do or quiz, make sure you mark as done. So if you finish a Google survey, but do not mark as done, it will still be seen as missing. As you can see here, this person was missing their grade and did not receive one because they forgot to mark as done. So this is not automatic. You must click it after you finish the survey. So now your assignment is submitted. Let's review. We click on the classwork tab, click on the assignment, click on your work, click add attachment. We choose the way we want to submit our assignment and we click turn in. And that is how you submit your assignments or homework. Let's talk about what happens after you submit your work on Google Classroom. Private comments. So after you submit your work, if you have any questions or need help because you didn't understand a part of the assignment, you can add a private comment. Private means that only the teacher will see your comment. Also, after you submit your work, if you realize you forgot something, or you need to explain why you were late, or any other reason why you need to talk with just the teacher, you can add your private comment. So you just click add private comment, type your comment, and then make sure to click the arrow to send your message. Be sure after you turn in your assignment to look at all comments. So if your teacher adds a private comment, go look at it and see what he or she said. Resubmitting. Your teacher may ask you to submit the work again. They may ask you to try again. That means you need to resubmit your assignment. The way you do this is by clicking on unsubmit. Unsubmit. Okay, so this takes your document back from your teacher. They will ask you if you are sure you want to un unsubmit. And so you click unsubmit again. And then you can redo your work. You can fix whatever the teacher asked you to fix 
um, as you can see right here, they will tell you this assignment has been unsubmitted, okay? And so now it is taken back from the teacher and it will not be returned to the teacher until you resubmit. To resubmit your work, you start at the beginning the same way that we started in submitting our work originally. So you just go back to the assignment, click on Add Attachment, click on Turn In, and turn it in. How to check your grades. So let's look at checking your grades individually. You may get a notification that your teacher graded your assignment. You can click on that notification and it will take you to the assignment page. On the assignment page, you will see the grade for your work. You can click on your work and see any comments that the teacher may have made. And you can also check your grades overall. So this is all of your grades for the term. Go back to your classroom in the classwork tab. And on that tab, you will see this screen or a screen similar. Look for the profile, the profile. So there'll be a little profile button here. It looks like a person. And if you click on it, you can view all of the grades you have for this course. As you can see, this student has only done one assignment and received a 100. But if they had done more, their grades would be right here. Okay, that's the end. Thank you so much for listening and good luck as you use Google Classrooms to learn online.